This is an audio test of the AKG D5S. We are testing the AKG D5S in front of my closet, inside my bedroom, that has zero, zilch, nada, <laughs> no audio treatment. Except if you count my bed as an audio treatment, then I guess I do have an audio treatment. It is important to note that I do live beside a busy and noisy street, so you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by and the occasional neighbor shouting down the hallway. I may or may not edit this audio in post-production, but if I do, it will just be a bit of audio boosting and a bit of noise reduction. I could already hear some hum from my LED lights. I don't know why that is. So please, for the exact parameters or what I did with this uh, audio test, please check the description of the description of the video below i think that real life use case like this is very important especially for those who are on the fence for one of these microphones because a lot of the reviews that you are going to watch or hear online they edit the the audio and they they put a lot of audio treatment in the space where they are doing the test or where where they are doing the recording that is good it makes the audio sound better but you don't get the real sound of this uh, microphone out of the box now i am doing this test out of the box and it is connected to a cloud lifter on my Scarlett Solo. So this is how it sounds like if you do that. Now I will um, remove it from the, the sound cloud or <laughs> the sound cloud. I will remove it from the cloud lifter and we will see how this sounds like without the cloud lifter. Now this is how the AKG D5S sounds like not attached to the cloud lifter. What I did is I just took the X XLR cable and I just plugged it directly into the Scarlett Solo. I did not change the gain on the Scarlett Solo. So you might notice a big drop in the volume of this video. And that is because the cloud lifter gives you a very clean gain in these microphones. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to pump the gain of the Scarlett Solo. Right now the gain is at 75% and I am going to slowly lift up the gain. So make sure that <laughs> it might get loud, uh, I'm not sure, but make sure that your hand is on the headphones just in case the volume gets really bad. Okay, I'm increasing the gain right now. Increasing the gain of this microphone. Now I'm increasing, 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 and as you can see, the sound changes, and um, th that is coming straight from the Scarlet Solo, and also you can hear that the, let me just check, you can hear that the, you can hear more of the room noise and more of the streets down below. And right now I am at 90% and I am trying to modulate my voice so this um, audio doesn't come out garbled in the recording. Now at this gain at around 90, 80%, I can't really gauge how uh, how how much that is because there's no numbers on it. But this is how it sounds like if you put this microphone or if you connect, con blah, 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 blah. if you connect this microphone directly to the Scarlett Solo and if you don't have a cloud lifter and you need to pump the, the gain a little bit more if you want to get a decent volume out of this microphone without the cloud lifter. I, I know I'm gibbering and I'm just going around in circles. So let's go back to the sound with the cloud lifter. There you have it, a real life use case of the AKG D5S. Amazon links to this 
microphone can be found in the description below and I do encourage you to buy from that link so you help me make more videos. If you like this video and if you found this useful, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please don't give me a thumbs down. I am trying to grow this freaking channel and I need subscriptions and I need your likes, but I don't need your thumbs down. So just just go away if you don't like it. <laughs> so until next time and until the next review, see you soon.